Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Well, here it is my barbecue controller. I extended my barbecue controller with the, the communication, uh, with the communication device. So I plugged it exactly the same way as I did in last video with the test of the communication devices. And I want to send the new information, the new temperature uh, to, uh, to another controller. Uh, I want to provide this temperature to another controller. Therefore, I made exactly the same hardware setup. Uh, so here's this NRF, however, yeah, however the name is. <laughs> and, and what is the name actually? TFT display? Ah, write it. Okay. NRF24L01 module. Uh, this I want to use to get uh, the temperature out. The, the rest is still the same. So here's, here's the temperature probe. Uh, yeah, and, and the other temperature probe I have here somewhere. Uh, this was the reference temperature and so on. Yeah, we talked about this some videos ago. So, uh, here I checked it, huh? it's still working. So we have a grill and temperature, we have a temperature. And if I touch this, this uh, device here, this, this, this grill, huh? then you see, okay, the grill temperature is, is reacting. So this is still working. Everything's fine. Everything is operating. Huh? Now I want to do the same as I did last time with the checks. Huh? So I'm going to include now here quite some, some things. Yeah? So add library, SPI. RF24. This I don't need. This I also don't need. Reorganize the order so that it makes logical sense. All right. This was that. Uh, uh, then I have to add this RF temperature sensors, yeah, RF24 radio, and now nine and it was nine and ten. I open, I will write them here. Define because actually, what I need, what 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 do I need? Linearized is I don't need. <laughs> uh, chip enable and chip select. Okay. Nine. Chip select. Nine and ten this was. Mm -hmm. I will use the same address. Good. Okay. In setup. In setup. Uh, I will use radio.begin. And then we are going to send open writing pipe. This was address and radio. Stop listening. Now we should be able to send, and the only thing we do is we send, okay? We send. I will measure, okay, I will include the my timeout library also. Measure temps. One time a second should be enough. If now I was getting rid of this delay here, don't need this delay, should still work exactly like before. Let's upload this and check if this is still working. Looks good. Looks good, looks good. Now I want to send this. I want to send this over the radio. Yeah. 
Ja. But I have two cent. I will do it like that. Uh, hashtag one hashtag. And now, now we'll make it like that. Chop off a thirty. Hashtag one hashtag temperature number one. I have to 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 say somehow the temp which temperature there is, and then we have percent long. No double, and it's temp grill. Okay. Serial dot print sending and radio dot write buffer size of buffer. This looks good. Now I should send this. I'm not sure about this. Okay, this is wrong. Float. Question mark. Ah, I have to look up in the internet. It should be correct. Looking better. Right. Good, so I have to I have to make a a string before adding it to a buffer. It seems like Arduino EDA is not supporting this percent F, this percent floating point. Alright, but now it should send it. Now I should send it, right? This device should send now whatever, whatever I have. Yeah? And I want to receive it now. I want to receive it now. Uh, so I'm starting the Arduino ID. I will use the program from last time. I will start the Arduino ID here. Because here actually, here actually, I have it from from last time. Yeah, here I only need one. This should now receive the temperature. This device yeah, should now receive the temperature. Uh, this is sending the temperature. This is receiving the temperature. Here I do have um, another USB connection, so I will connect this now. Where is my hub? Hub, hub, hub. Hop, hop. Connect. Uh, it's open. I know. All right. All right. And I'm reading. Reading path, yes. Should be okay. Read buffer, print buffer. I will... Uh, what is this now? It's now an Arduino Nano Com Com six, hopefully. Yeah, upload. Downloading quite some files from OneDrive. Stick on. I'm only receiving hashtag one. Why? <laughs> Why only hashtag one? Here? I'm sending. 
uh, here. I only receiving hashtag one. Why is that? Hmm. Let's see what is the size. Maybe I only sent the first two parts. It's always more <laughs> effort than you think. Size two, there it is. Okay. Size 2. Why is it only size 2? It's long, huh? Sensor dot length. Let's see what, what this is. If this is okay, then this is okay. It's clear that I'm, if I'm only sending the first two bytes only, I'm only receiving the first two bytes. 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's try this. But thirteen by thirteen. Why thirteen? Why thirteen? I have not noticed this, it was wrong now. Why 13? How is this possible? How is this possible? Was this before Osos, this stupid 13? Yes, it looks like that. At least, at least, the <laughs> at least the sending is not working. What I have to, what I'm doing here? Why is it thirteen? Thirteen dot nine. That's not possible. Temperature grill. Thirteen. Ah yes, it's thirteen. It's also written here thirteen. Why is it thirteen? Nothing wrong. Doesn't seem to be that accurate. <laughs> Man, go. Now I've searched again an error which is no error. What I'm receiving here? Okay. This is looking good now. I'm not sure why I have this, this strange way. Ah, uh-huh. Okay. 27 degree. This looks now better. Yeah. Always keep your eyes open. See what is print. A lot of prints are too much prints out, maybe. Yeah, and I cannot follow my own uh, debugging outputs. All right, so we see we can transfer. Huh? We can transfer. What I also want to check is if I can send now. I'm sending it to the with these addresses, I'm not sure how those, those addresses work. Address, it's now one. One. What if I'm changing this address here and say uh, two, two handheld device? Now it's another address. I'm uploading this. Let's see if I'm still receiving something here. No. Does not seem that way. This means the addresses must be the same. 
and the M3 I'm also using here this two handheld device upload then I'm uploading it now to the other device to the receipt device and I should be yes I'm getting it again so I can select whom to send okay what if I want to select here open writing pipe hmm now I'm eager to know if I can do it like that open writing pipe stop listening right here close open what was this start listening aha uh -huh. open reading pipe start listening open writing pipe address and now i say sensor equals and now I make that like that yeah? and I say the same things again but this time not address this time I write I write uh, not address I write uh, 0001 yeah? again nope. I have to write address address 2 address 2 address to stop listening I can keep out here okay now I should send it to one address and also to another address in my understanding I'm not sure if this is working as well and one time with hashtags this should work as before hopefully yeah. so I have to look here if this is if this is working as before Yes, I'm receiving something. I'm receiving something. Touch, touch the temperature so that it goes up again. Yeah, it's going up. Okay, receiving something on address, on the original address. Now I change the address here to one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, upload. And now I should receive the same thing, but with stars. It's got all stars, asterisks. Ooh, really? All right. But uh, <laughs> I again have to add this here. Okay, good. So the, the, you can you can do it like that. You can do it. Yeah, now it's with stars. Yeah, you can really select the 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 device, the end device, and I can send to this end device. I can something. I can send something to the other end device. I can also send something. Mm -hmm. Good, good, and this is working really nice. I must say. All right. So at least. We have now we have now a communication. Okay, but this thing is sending something. Next time, I only want to send something when it's you know have changed uh, a certain amount or already uh, it is already past. I don't know a lot of of seconds. Okay, this is the next goal you know, to to send the temperature not every second but to send the temperature only if the temperature measured temperature has changed a certain amount yeah, threshold or if the if the last sent temperature was already quite a while ago uh, let's say one minute uh, do we update every minute at least every minute or if the temperature has changed more than half a degree let's say okay
Yeah. So that's that's that. Uh, yeah. This will be then in next video this this threshold change. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.